YouTube, after absolutely no time of relaxation, we're jumping right into the Frederick Barbosa campaign, doing this first mission, the Holy Roman Emperor, and we're going to check out the objectives. It's an interesting objective, uh, it's only one, oh, excuse me there, <coughs> excuse me. We have to capture four of the six relics, surrounded by German dookies. <laughs> Alright, um... So that's basically what we have to do. We have a lot of enemies in this mission. You're going to have six enemies, obviously, as it says right there. Um, and then the Mongols, you're going to see, are making another guest appearance down way in the northeast. They're very useless in this mission, so don't even mess. And I love that this game, the creators love the Mongols so much and think they're so scary that they have to include them in the fifth campaign just to keep you going. So we're going to check out the hints here. Um, no, we're not going to take out any of the threats early. The, the reason being is you, if you don't focus on walling off your, uh, your island-ish area, you're going to be screwed later on, and you're just, not later on, but right then and there. So you got to wall it off first and not focus on attacking. Um, the rest is the basics about monks. So first thing you want to do, you want to go up here to this bridge, have this light cavalry scout out this bridge area for you. And have all your villagers work on a area to wall off the shallows um, at any time. Also get as many villagers as you can uh, with the food that you're given at the beginning. So it's kind of similar to the wall we built in uh, the last mission in the final campaign. Or the fi whatever, uh, Pax Mongolia. You want to build this little gate area. Um, there you go. And then just build a gate across. You can start getting some wood for us get some more wood blue vera that's, a, that's another good one forgot about blue vera i'm not i'm not sure if these are uh I'm, no i i forgot what the other uh i'm gonna have to wait and see it's gonna be surprised what their uh voiceovers are i gotta tell you i am loving the viking voiceovers when i'm doing this viking campaign right now hilarious hilarious voiceovers Ludafisk. No, just kidding. No one's eating Ludafisk. You can move over there. Let's go. Alright. Try to make this as straight as possible, as linear as possible. Alright, that should be okay. Alright, now you can help down here. Do the same thing with this bridge, and then the other two are openings she'll be uh, shallows, I believe, that you got to take care of. This one is probably your least vulnerable of any... Uh, walled off area because you got that castle right there but we're going to be building castles at each location uh, to begin with or anyways like Calvary get out of there we're not getting monkified right yet right yet I I can't talk either so oh good all right we got a light Calvary uh, as our enemy now so let's plot down this gate and we should be sealed off over there it's going to be important to get units over there as quickly as possible I'm going to send two people over there and you want to start getting some uh farms going anytime soon here make sure you get that wood solidified early so you can get plenty of farms and we can get crop rotation and I believe we can go in the Imperial Age in the first mission no way who would have thunk it it must have been a drunken I don't know how many times I've uh, referenced that song in my YouTube walkthroughing and I got one comment from Chewy 373 as a rabid wolf comes flying in at my villagers why don't you take it down sooner or later? I don't understand how you're not profusely bleeding. Um, about Metroid Other M. I decided I will do it. I'm going to do it. Even though I've got four freaking other walkthroughs going on. I'm going to do Metroid Other M. It looks just so nasty that I have to. Honestly, that's just the way it is. Just the way it is. Alright, okay. I'm not, I'm not singing other songs now. you got to stop me from singing so many songs. Seriously, I don't even have a good voice. So you wanna, what you want to do right now, uh, you can probably get, once you get enough food, just start getting people to go for stone. Um, stone, please. Or you can get the Mongols to give you some stone. Wrong. I used up all your stone, Mongols. How do you feel now? How do you feel now, Lord Gangatai? Gangakatai? Khan? Oh, you're still idle there. All right. Well, you're going to be working in there pretty soon. I should have built the mill over there because I'm an imbecile. And you know why? If you built the mill over there, you get the forage bushes. So, 
I don't recommend using a ton of Technotic Knights in this mission. You're going to get access to the Paladins, and unfortunately, let's take a look at their tech tree. Look at this. No Light Cavalry, even. I don't get what it is, though. In, first, in, the first, in any mission that you play, you're always starting off with the Light Cavalry in the Barbarossa campaign. I don't know if they're trying to taunt you with saying, Oh, Q-Ball, you can't get the Hussar this time. Well... I know I can't. I mean, you just shut up now. Because I have no units I can ever use. I have no Magadaya. Oh, I got these slow monks that have some nasty armored capes, I guess. So, I right, go back to the lumber camp so I can build a mining camp over there. Breiter. Yeah. Yeah. I like, the, I like the German accent. It's not a bad one. It's got a nice sound at the end. We'll get handcart later, and these guys, you can garrison them in the castle, and it'll increase your, once you get crenellations in the Imperial Age, it'll increase your fire. It's kind of similar to, um, oh, well, we're going to kill you. And you want to get a castle up here probably first. Um, the reason being is you probably get all scout cavalry. It looks like they're Tarkin from right here. It looks like fire's coming from their sword. Um... So I'm just gonna go and fight them with my knight. You're gonna fight me? I don't. I don't think you want to fight. Oh, how'd you get in there? Where'd you come from? Ah, uh, little knight shift from James Bond reference right there. If you haven't played that mission, then go get yourself a life. I'm sorry. When you, I kill the guy with a door in that mission in Manganel, you can stop killing my own units. All right? Because if I don't lose any units right now, I can put them back in the castle. It's all chill, and we've got spearmen coming, so you can do some work later. So we can get some two more villagers. That's a nice sound. That is a nice, crisp sound. I've not heard that one very frequently. But look at I mean, the, the mangonel fires going in the water. It's a, it's a nice splash. It's nice and calming, I guess, and at the same time rem reminiscent of D-Day. Actually not, because I was not there. Sounded like it would be a ter terrible place to be. We're going to heal up our knights. Uh, the Teutonic civilization is more of an infantry civilization than a cavalry, which is why we don't get the Hussar or even the light cavalry. Um, so you're going to be using a lot of infantry. Uh, Teutonic knights are ver are great. They're, I mean, they're, they're great. If you're using them in close quarters, you don't need them to go long distance. You don't need them to chase down units. Uh, they're perfecto. And they can hold their own against almost any enemy except well, crossbowmen or archers or something like that. Keep, work on the stone, work on the stone. You're going to need plenty of castles in this mission. Um, but once you get going, and you're going to be protected for, you know, a good portion of this whole mission, for pretty much the whole thing, you can just pluck on through them. And I know some people have having some troubles, but walling off this area is vital. Uh, it's more important than anything, but the reason they have, uh, because you have six enemies, you're really not going to be getting hit by too many hard hitters, uh, as far as, like, Units, I mean. Uh, some of the units aren't really going to be that powerful. See, they got archers. Saxony is probably... I, I, you know, I would say Saxony, Bavaria, and... Or, Saxon, yeah, Saxony, Bavaria, and Swabia are probably your biggest threats. Bohemia likes to sit back there and just turtle. And Bar Burgund Burgundy, you know, you know the case about them. I mean, they're... Uh, you know... I don't know. You know, I <laughs> I have no, nothing else to say about your patheticness, Burgundy. I mean, you French just don't know when to give up. And I think that's how it goes. Is is that how it goes? I think that's how it goes. Think that we think I think that's what you're saying. See, Bohemia, Bohemia is all the way over there. They're guarding. Uh, see, there's no hungry. I wonder why. I wonder why there's no hungry. <laughs> that's a good question. 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 Get these house going. You got plenty of resources on this map, uh, this area around you. And once you, t I like to go for Burgundy first because that frees up a lot of resources for you. So that's what I'll be doing, and I recommend you do the same. Uh, but once again, walling off your base is vital to success early on. And frick, gotta. Looks like this is gonna be the most heavily uh, followed path right now. So I'm gonna put a castle down right now, and that should uh, protect us for quite some time. Another villager going probably not the best place to put a house I'm not gonna be putting any more houses over there probably want to put them oh let's put them down here 
It's a nice place. Uh, by the nice, nice and wooded landscaping right there. How do you like that landscaping? Huh? I know I'm such a good landscaper, and I can't wait to take the crop rotation. I'm so excited, so excited. You know, I don't really know many rushing techniques for this mission, uh, other than you know you can. It's all about getting the relics, so you can definitely rush. But I don't, I don't know. I'm not good at any rushing techniques for this mission, so I'm not gonna be doing that and humiliating myself in that fashion. Oh, what's this? We got a Manganel going for our walls. French are attacking our castles. Actually, they're tectonic, all right. Tectonic plates. I'm some pretty mighty uh, people right there. University you probably want to protect somehow, so we're gonna put it over there because that really is not gonna benefit us much. And that is going down awfully quickly. So what should I do? Not enough food. That's easily the case for most things going on in my life. <laughs> it's like, it's like you try to do anything in your life, but it's like, not enough food, man. Can't do it. It's like, oh, I'm going to make a sandwich. Not enough food. Uh, I'm going to go out and uh, change my oil. Not enough wood. I don't know how that corresponds to anything, but uh, just thought it sounded cool. The stone wall should uh, survive, and once we get this fortify or this university up, and on cue, the music stops once again. I love how these spearmen are useless. Three attack. Go get yourself a halberdier. Halberdier. Get a halberdier. Yeah. As the French are attacking our castles. All right, so we still have to wait for the food once again. So we're gonna plop these guys down. Whoa, a little glitchy there. Gotta love glitchy. Alright, and he's going down awfully quickly. And let's see if I can uh, nail that guy. No, I don't have the blacksmith yet. And I cannot see any of my walls, apparently. So, that's a problemo. No, we're not going to be creating that. Because you're going to get killed by guard towers that you don't need to get killed by. But you think you do. So you go over there and don't listen to me. Just trying to protect you. Oh, that's a good one. Hey, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you betcha, man. I'm Wisconsinite. I'm a Minnesota. Oh, didn't realize that problem over there. All right, so that thing should probably stand for another couple hundred years. So once these guys build the blacksmith and once I get enough stone, I will build another castle right there. And we got some, you know, screw that. Knights, do some work. Do work. That's my motto. Do work. Solves everything. Skirmishers and archers are basically fodder. So you can just breeze right through them. Should be ready for a heavy plow. Appreciate that. Looks like we're ready for another castle. Alright, kill the monk first. The monks are always first. I'm monk paranoid beyond belief. Oh, you are kidding me! There is no way... In freaking life, that he got converted right away. He's some, he has some weak faith right there. I gotta tell you. I gotta tell you, I'm the freaking Tetons. I know I'm getting converted like that already. I don't know. I'm not even British either. I mean, seriously, seriously, mate. Don't know. All right, I don't know why I'm doing my British accent right now either. Sorry for any of you that are offended for my British accent, but uh. I'm just jumping all over the place right now. I'm a little ADD in this first mission. Once I get Bodkin Arrow, I'll be sat over here. I'll be taking down the Saxony Watchtowers. Look at that hawk flying on through. You know you can press woof woof and you can make dogs fly through the air. So maybe I'll do that. It's pretty hilarious in my eyes at least. Seeing dogs fly, th fly through the air in this game. And knights, you are being imbecilic. It's not a first. Yeah, yeah, you betcha. And we got about a minute left. And between this part and the next part, you know what I'll probably be doing? I'll just be jacking up my base a little bit more. And see the nice dog, fly, stormy dog flying through. And I'm going to have some nasty castles going on. We're going to have some nasty technologies going. We're just going to be beefed up and uh, preparing to attack, the, attack Burgundy. So I'll probably begin the next video with... Uh, me getting my units going to attack Burgundy, and we'll probably take down Burgundy in the ne next video. What you want to do now, make sure you turtle right now. Get enough stone going for yourself. Uh, get those castles going. Get those places walled off. Then slowly work towards getting units, technologies, and what else. And then eventually go for Burgundy, and so on and so forth. So thanks for watching part one of this Barbarossa campaign. I hope you enjoyed it. 
and I'll be enjoying some more later on. See you guys next time.